Matt Lauer has reportedly become a withdrawn and distant man since being fired from the Today Show in 2017. Here's how Lauer's ongoing struggles have affected his public and private relationships. Former Today Show host Matt Lauer was riding high until it all came crashing down in 2017 following allegations of rape and inappropriate sexual behavior in the workplace. In November 2017, NBC chairman Andy Lack gave the television personality his pink slip and sent him packing. Since then, however, Lauer has more or less faded into obscurity. A source told People in November 2021, People would check up on him for a while, but that stopped to a degree. He just stays to himself. He doesn't really reach out to people very much anymore or engage them, and so he's been losing touch with a lot of people. But that's not all. It was also reported that his bank account took a big hit when he walked away from NBC completely empty-handed. The source told People, He's presumably sitting on mountains of money, but then again, he had a lot of money in real estate. But how is the disgraced former news anchor doing currently? And what does his life look like today? Well, a source told People in November that Matt Lauer has, quote, kind of withdrawn from several friendships in the last year. The source said the former anchor's level of trust has diminished with many of the people he once considered friends following his abrupt departure from the Today Show. Case in point, Lauer's former colleague and Today co-host Katie Couric. As you may recall, Couric has not been shy about publicly expressing her feelings in the aftermath of the allegations surrounding Lauer. Couric told Today co-anchor Savannah Guthrie during a candid interview in 2021, It was really devastating, but also disgusting. But that's not all. Couric also released private text messages between her and Lauer in her 2021 memoir, Going There. According to Couric, she included those text messages in her book because she thought they were very illustrative of how their relationship devolved and ultimately deteriorated. Alas, it's safe to say Lauer didn't see it that way. An insider divulged to People, he was really upset by Katie Couric's book. She shared their private text messages and she semi-slammed him. It made him lose trust. As for now, the source claims that Lauer is in the midst of a transitional time and living life as a semi-empty nester as his two oldest children are in college and his youngest is in high school. It's also reported that he's not currently working. After Matt Lauer was fired from the Today Show in 2017, he allegedly decided to live a more quiet life in his house in the Hamptons, according to Town & Country. However, that house is now reportedly for sale. It was also said that he was focused on family following the sexual assault allegations, his firing, and his subsequent split from his ex-wife Annette Roque. In 2021, it was reported that the former television show anchor found love again amid the turmoil. Sources told People that PR executive Shaman Abbas has been dating Lauer and is, quote, very happy with him. The two reportedly met decades ago and maintained their friendship throughout Lauer's fall from grace. The insider added that the PR executive is putting her boyfriend's past behind them and that she supports Lauer in every way. Although the former Today Show anchor has reportedly withdrawn from most of his friends and past co-workers, his friendship with Al Roker is said to be being slowly restored, especially after Roker announced he was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2020. A source told OK, It is impossible to overstate how close friends Al and Matt were. They were friends for 30 years, and it was the most genuine relationship on the Today Show. The insider added that although Savannah Guthrie and Hoda Kotb broke all ties with their former co-anchor, the situation was, quote, much more complicated for Roker. If you or anyone you know has been a victim of sexual assault, help is available. Visit the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network website or contact Rain's National Helpline at 1-800-656-HOPE-4673.